we visited a good friend of ours yesterday, Larry Gudgeon, very nice guy, good photographer, and he told us about a place called Fairmont, Indiana, which is 70 odd miles from where we're staying now. It's the place where a certain man by the name of James Dean grew up. So that's where we're heading now. James Dean was born in uh, Marion, Indiana, but he grew up in Fairmont, Indiana, which is the place we're going to go now. And James Dean was the face of the rebellious youth of the 1950s, and thus rebel of the rock and roll era. He starred in a lot of TV appearances, but only had uh, three major movies to his name, East of Eden, The Giant, and Rebel Without a Cause. We are going to the place where he grew up. James Dean was born on the 8th of February 1931. He died on the 30th of September 1955. It was one of the first big rock and roll tragedies. James Dean's mother died when he was nine years old and his father said he couldn't care for him anymore. So James, or Jimmy as his friends called him, moved to Fairmont to the farm of his aunt and uncle. They raised him as one of his own. Our first stop is the James Dean Gallery where we'll be meeting up with Lenny and David. Let me introduce you to um, Cleopatra. She's the museum dog here. And oh, she's gone. She's. Look at. <laughs> Not interested in cameras. Thank you. Guarding the place. The first paid role for James Dean was in a Pepsi commercial. Another job for James was parking cars near the CBS radio studio. This got him a couple of small roles, one of which in a Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis production. As talented an actor and as good looking as James was, he just had to be discovered. I love the hunky tonk Zeb. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's a nice place as well. Whereas a lot of a lot of places we went go very very over commercial. This is this is real. Yeah. Yeah. I I love and it. Now we try to keep some of it. Yeah, we try to keep the town original. And, mm -hmm. You know, we, you want to get people here, but you don't want to over commercialize. It's kind of a thin line, you know. You don't want to you want to get people here, but you don't want to spoil it. <laughs> no, no, but that's great. There's only very few people that really understand that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's really nice. I love to see it like this. You should, you got, are you here for the day or do you got time? Or? Uh, well, we're at Fairmont for the day, but we're not staying too far away. Because um, I can call up a friend of mine and get a tour of the farm and one of the barns and stuff. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. We came from the James Dean Gallery. Great place. They got loads of memorabilia. They play his movies, they got a gift shop, it's, it, it's amazing. What I love about Fairmont, Indiana, is this is real. No big commercial stuff, this is the way you would lo love to see a place like this. We are on our way to the farm now, where uh, James Dean grow, grew up. Can you believe that? A very nice gentleman by the name of Phil Ziegler showed us around the farm where James grew up. He had some amazing stories about wanting to become an actor, about James Dean and about rock and roll. And you wouldn't believe some of the stuff we've seen. From cars and tractors to the autograph, a 13-year-old James Dean had made in the wet cement of the barn. See that tractor? It's the exact same one as in this picture. And now take a look at this classic Ford. And once again, I cannot believe my luck. Uh, we met this nice gentleman over there who's <laughs> showing us around the farm where James Dean grew up. And I'm inside the car right now that he drove to his prom, didn't he? Yeah, senior prom, yes sir. <laughs> drove, this, drove this car to a senior prom. Yeah. 
That's his graduation tassel right there hanging down from the mirror. <laughs> this is, I just can't believe this. It's just... <laughs> James followed advice friends had given him and moved to New York, where he was hired by Elliot Kazan's actor studio. He got acting lessons from John Steinbeck and eventually was asked to join a play called See That Jaguar. Although the play was slaughtered by the media, James Dean again was praised for his great acting skills. He also played a role in a play called The Immoralist, a play based on a book, one of his main subjects, homosexuality. Remember, this was the 1950s, so this move, in my opinion, must have taken great guts. Again, his talent got him a role in the Hollywood blockbuster East of Eden. It was to be the only major movie released during his lifetime. He was also nominated for an Oscar in honor he would never live to see. So we're here at James Dean's grave. He was uh, born in 1931, died in 1955. He was 24 when he died. His first big movie had just been released, East of Eden. I'm already older than he ever was. I remember when I was a kid we had a jukebox in the living room and I was listening to Buddy Holly and Elvis, Cliff Richard and Roy Orbison's Pretty Woman uh, and the pre Pretty Woman rock and roll stuff. Uh, music was playing all the time and my parents were telling me stories and stuff. Now above this jukebox we had in the living room was a big poster uh, with James Dean on it and I kept wondering who is this guy that's given us his best trouble young man look and why is he wear his hair like my dad does. I was just curious, you know, I always found it very interesting, very captured my imagination. It's very nice to know the farm is still owned by James Dean's family. Fairmont, Indiana is a great place to visit. It looks exactly the place you would want a place like that to look like. It's not over commercialized, it's real. And even if you um, want to see more than just James Dean, it's also, it's also the place where Garfield came from. I want to thank uh, Larry Goshen for telling us about Fairmont, Indiana and James Dean. I want to thank Lenny and David for showing us around the James Dean Gallery. Um, I want to thank Mr. Phil Ziegler for showing us around the farm. We loved it. Um, if you guys love the video, hit the subscribe button. Click on the videos on the side to see more. Bye bye.